Hello everybody, this is Cthulhu2 once again. Obviously this is my channel, so you should expect it's me. Well, one person you might not expect is this guy right here. Mogali37, aka Angel Ramos TV. I believe that is his YouTube name. So hello sir. Uh, hello sir. <laughs> and thank you for joining. Um, it is very fitting that we have... Or, do you prefer Mogali or Ramos or something? What do you prefer? Uh, most people call me Mowgli, so I'll just go by that. Okay, we'll go Mowgli, and plus it's above your head, so it's easy to remember. Anyway, as I was saying, it's fitting to have you here with us today because this is your map, is it not? Uh, no, it's not. I stole it. Oh, crap, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Journey to Retaliation, which is the continuation of the story that I started back with Far Vale's Downfall. If you guys have been with me for a while, you probably saw some of those videos. And um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first part of three maps for Journey to Retaliation? Is that correct? Yes, part okay. one of three. Cool, that's what I thought by the numbering. Um, so yeah, you want to you wanna tell the viewers about uh, what's going on with the, the storyline in a nutshell? Oh yeah, sure. Well, um, basically, after we killed everyone in Fairvale, uh, we decide, well, the relic that we found is telling us that it will promise, uh, uh, there, 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 I can't <laughs> speak today. Uh, the relic has promised us rich and fortune if we go over to Dasdorfter Vermanten, which is the map from my journey to Annihilation map. Okay. And we go there and we kill the king who was the main character of that map. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So there you have it. And um, let's see. I, I watched back my my last episode of Fair Vale's Downfall, and I believe I just chose to not destroy the relic, but I still ended up dying at the end of the map anyway, or my my yeah. character from that map. Um. Okay. So we've got some stuff to read off here. Um. It's worth noting that there is a video pack that goes along with the map. So. Hopefully, if my editing skills don't fail me, you guys should see those in their correct places as we play through. And uh, let me let me do some reading here. So we've got some rules: don't break or place. Uh, you may use mods to change time of day, so we might be doing some of that. Don't cheat. I'm definitely not going to be able to get away with that with uh, Mowgli here. Hi. <laughs> you may. Oh, speaking of which, while I look through these. Uh, signs and stuff you want to talk about yourself and your channel and what you've got going on oh yeah sure well I run my channel Angel Ramos TV and right now I'm just recovering from the winter break and all that <laughs> eggnog <laughs> uh, but let's see uh, well I do plan on doing a little bit of Halo 4 or Ooh. Black Ops 2 gameplay so that's Very one cool. thing on my to-do list. I have yet to try Halo 4. I've seen a little bit of playthrough of it, and it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good, despite its flaws with us creativity people. Oh, really? Yeah. There's what, like, there's like some flaws? issues with making machinimas. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. Well, are, are you going to be able to find a way around that, you think? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm just going to have every person in the game holding a gun pointed at each other's heads. <laughs> Alright, so I've checked out all the signs. I think I know the basic rules. And thank you for this little shout-out here. Oh, you're I welcome. I appreciate that. I didn't notice that at first. So, um, I assume we head downstairs, huh? Uh, no, we head to the attic. Oh. Um, do I climb these signs? Yeah, good yeah. luck with that. Yeah, I give up. It's work. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going on down here. Step on pressure plate for info. Aha, do not worry about creepers. Their explosions are disabled. Nice. Got a little map here. So, I see you are using command blocks. Yes. Keep inventory after death. I really, really like this addition to the game. I think that's an awesome idea. And um, you guys might be noticing that the leather pants and boots look a little bit different. There is a texture pack that goes along with the map. Doesn't make huge changes, I guess, but uh, a little bit here and there. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to get suited up, and there is a note here to read. 
All right, note one, you step outside of your safe house and take a deep breath of fresh air. You look down at the cobble road and notice the little building to the right of the house. You hope that someone there will tell you how to get to, I'll let you pronounce that, Das Dorfder Verdampten? Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> Is German a, uh, a native language for you? Nope, I just used Google Translate. Ah, you're just better at it than I am. <laughs> All right, a new objective. Follow the cobblestone trail until you reach the little building on the left-hand side of the trail to ask for directions. All right, I think I can handle that. Uh, just before we get started here, I yep. would like to give a little hint. Ooh. You may notice that those village names are kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Well, if you put them into Google Translate, it'll make a lot more sense. Oh, okay. Okay, a little Easter egg right there. Yes, I like it. All right, so I think we're ready to go. I got my sword. I got some armor. Achievement! The journey begins. Cool. Now, um, are there any kind of uh, Easter eggs to look for? Because I believe I have an updated version of the map that made mention of that sort of thing. Yeah, I recently updated the map to what I would like to call the Pretty Silly update. Aha. Oh. So, so I should be looking around for stuff like this. Yes, like hidden things around Friday the Friday the Disturbing. <laughs> Jason was here. All right, cool. So I will try to keep my eyes open for that. And if there's anything you'd particularly like to point out, feel free to mention that as we go along, because I'm sure I'll miss stuff. I will be sure to do that. Oh, read note one. Okay, I read the note too early. My bad. And all right, so let's go uh, follow the cobblestone path, I assume. So how long did it take you to make this map? Uh, on average, about, I'd say, a month and a half. Oh, wow. I believe. You have more patience than I do. I've been <laughs> toying with the idea of making like, just a small puzzle-type map, but I just never get around to it. Ooh, what have we over here? Clay Hide Secrets. Tourist Hotspot. Watery Grave River. Uh, I don't know about that. Please do not climb over or sit onto the safety rails. Reports of people drowning is why we enforce rules. Hmm, that's tempting. We'll start by breaking clay. And food. Beautiful. Ooh, clay. I assume I should probably leave some food for you, huh? Uh, yes, think please, of that. and thank you. Oh, and I believe I left you. one in the chest for you. Now, when a sign tells me not to do something, I always feel like doing it. Um... Would that be a bad idea? Oh, no, it would be a great idea. <laughs> okay. I kind of can't help myself. So I was thinking either go down here, but that looks like a dead end. Or maybe I check out my watery grave here. Oh, there's a chest with a diamond. All right. So is that kind of the score system for the map? Yes, it does. All right. And let's see. How do we get out of here? We'll just climb up here, I guess. There we go. All right. I am off to a great start here. Um, so let's see, I guess we keep following the path, eh? A, yes we do. <laughs> I'm not Canadian. I just like to tease Canadians. Oh, loudspeaker. Do you want money fast? Do you want to work for your money? You've come to the right place. H-N-R-C-U? I think something got cut off. Cube, okay, H-R cube. Out to lunch, be back in never. That is a long lunch break. I'm jealous. <laughs> Please wait here until you can be assisted. So wait forever. Or I can go down this hole. Read note number two. Ah, which is right in here. All right, would you like to read off this note, sir? Okay, let's see. Note number two. Oh, that's a brewing stand. That is not the note. <laughs> okay, page one of 20. Oh, my. <laughs> Story time. <clears throat> You step into the bottom floor of the building, and you are amazed by what you are seeing. A very aged man walks into the room and finds you looking at his stuff. From his clothing, he, he seems to be a retired scientist. When he speaks, his voice is sort of raspy and deep. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, raspy, raspy, raspy. I forgot what raspy sounds like. Pretend like you're a chain smoker. Uh... Arr. There you go. Uh, okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
<laughs> hey. <laughs> I know you I got it. I can't do you? without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Not even gonna try. All right, let's see if I can pull off raspy. Um, okay, so S is for scientist. Y is for you. <clears throat> hey, get away from there, you slacker! Uh, excuse me, sir. I hate to be bothering you, but I was wondering how I can get to that place from here. Hey, I know you. I've been following your story for quite some time now. I heard about Fairvale. You are quite the case. Of course, we don't have much control when we are driven insane. You know the way, or do you know the way to Dasdorf der Verdampton from here? Oh, before I continue, are we, or what, what kind of character are we right now? Oh, we are still playing as Peter from Fairvale down, Fair, Fairvale Downfall. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Just wanted to make sure I had all that straight. All right. Um, where was I? Okay. Well, if you planned on going across Hoover Lake, then you are as insane as you seem. That plan alone would take you at least three days to go through, not including all the stops in between. And I just fell through a hole. <laughs> but I know of a shortcut that will take you as far as Das Dorf der Wohlhabende. Yes. From yes. <laughs> from there, you are on your own. Das Dorf something? That's my hometown. Well, it's going to be quite a reunion when you get there. So where is this shortcut? The shortcut is the sewers beneath the nearby village Diarmendorf, the lowest, most disgusting village there is. I heard that they are so poor that they cannot afford food during the winter because their village is next to a desert where they uh, they cannot grow crops either. In order to get into the sewer, you will need to you need a key to get in. It just so happens that I have the key to get in, but I shall not give it to you unless you collect these items from me for me, so that I may brew them for my latest project. How would you like to reply to the scientist? Positively, go to page eleven. Negatively, go to page nine. That is a cool idea. Um, I feel like being positive today. Woohoo! Positive response. Okay, what is it you require? I shall collect the items for you. Note, because of your response, the scientist now views you more positively. Continue to page 12. I require a fermented spider eye and blaze powder, but in order to get these items, you must burn their village to the ground. Oh my. Um, how would you like to reply to the scientist? Agree to orders? Refuse. Let's see. Because I was kind of a jerk in the last map, not destroying the relic and everything, I'm going to continue being a jerk. So we are going to agree and go to page 13. And my, my raspy voice is killing my throat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we agree to burn down the city. Okay, I shall make their deaths long and painful. Glad you see things my way. Because of your response, the scientist now knows you're ruthless. Go to page 17. My items will most likely be stuffed away somewhere underneath one of the houses. Return with the items and I shall give you the key. You start to walk out until the scientist stops you. Wait, you seem familiar, as if I know you from somewhere long ago. <gasps> the scientist's face <laughs> turned as pale as the moon. Are you alright, sir? Yes, I'm fine. I just thought it's possible that you are still al- eh, Never mind. Collect those items and come back for the key. You walk out of the building. New objective. Burn the village to the ground and search under each one of the houses for the fermented spider eye and blaze powder. If you see obsidian under the floor, then keep looking. You have to find an obsidian room under the home. You may break wood blocks for this objective. Very cool. So that is very... RPG-ish of a, a note. I like that. Oh, thank you. Um, so is it too early to go down to the basement here? Oh, no, oh. it's perfectly fine. Wow. Oh, and there's potions. Sweet. Fire resist and instant health. Um, anything else? Might take too long for me to check all of these, but that's a pretty good start. And that is why you have me here. <laughs> exactly. So I assume I am missing a few. Uh, no, it seems like they're all empty. Oh, okay. Um, subjects for genetic 
Mutating. That sounds horrific. Um, should we come back to this later? No, we need to go in here oh, for okay, our gotcha. objective. Okay, so we've got Hello. a race of spiders. Hello. Hello. Lots of heads. Hello. It's a piggy. These. Oh, okay, cool. It says oink. Bah. <laughs> nice. Mr. Moo, Clucky. Oh, these poor guys. They have no idea what's coming. Race hidden. Name Peekaboo. What does that say? <laughs> ah, Peekaboo. So inappropriate. Peekaboo. And the. Ch oh, aha. I was going to say the chest is empty, but not so much. Would you like one too? Uh, I already have two. Oh, beautiful. I'll take that back then. <laughs> All right. Well, while my voice recuperates, let's go burn down a village. Test subject number 12. Uh oh. Oh, watch test subject number 12 in video pack. So, watch it! And we're back. All right, that was amazing. Yes, it was. We all we watched it together just yes. right now. Yes, it was probably one of the best videos I've ever seen. Just FYI. Definitely, it's gonna get. Uh, it's gonna be uh, nominated for. Uh, what's what's like it called? Like a Golden Globe uh, or something, or uh, an Emmy, a Golden Globe, an Oscar. I don't know. I don't even know what those <laughs> things Oscar? are. Oscar. I have no idea. I forgot. <laughs> um, okay, so do we burn this? No, we, we get to go back up. Okay. I just realized I should have put something in the note that lets you know to go down here. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose that would be ha handy. But knowing you, you are adventurous, and you would be able <laughs> to find that. And I would cut out all my time bumbling around not knowing where to go. Yes, which for I've definitely about done in the past. 20 minutes, <laughs> you'd be bumbling around. One of the and you would have known that a pig man set off the trap and locked you in. Aha! Oop, dip, dip. <laughs> one, of, one of the first maps I played, I, for some reason I can't remember the name of it, but I spent a long time trying to find where I was supposed to go in this one point, and I felt pretty dumb. But hooray for editing. Yep. All right, so I assume this is the place that gets to feel our wrath. Oh, checkpoint. And it's nighttime, perfect timing. Although, we, okay, you got to set tonight as well. All right, so I set my spawn, and what do we have in here? Ah, meat, and I will put my diamond in the chest. And I guess we should take a nap, shouldn't we? Oh, or not. Oh, or, or we will. I'm so confused. Ah! <laughs> um, did you throw a, a something at me? What? No. I don't know what you're talking about. And there we go. And oh, sorry. What a jerk! <laughs> I invite you onto my server, and you just start beating me up. I see how it is. All right, what do we got over here? The sewers. Okay, so we cannot go in there yet. So let's go on up here. And hit the button. Okay. Yes, this place looks very wooden. Yes. Now, are... Th Ooh, lots of stuff. What are, these, what are these villagers doing? Yeah, they're all just chilling out <laughs> in here. If they only knew what was coming. Oh, don't... <laughs> <laughs> Darn, you noticed. Now, are these places worth looting at all? I'm noticing yep. some pretty random stuff in here so far. Oh, this is, this is good. I like just <laughs> burning stuff. It's horrible, but it's enjoyable. I was able to learn from my mistakes <laughs> of Farewell's downfall. 
So oh, I beautiful. thank you for that. Ah, well, I'm glad I was helpful. That's kind of why I do this, partially for my enjoyment and part. Oops! Ow! I think I think I may have made a terrible mistake there. <laughs> And there's a sign. I think I'll leave that here. Sorry, Mr. Villager. You looked cold. <laughs> All right. Man, there are a lot of villagers up in here. Oh, I hear a... Oh, big guy's burning. I wouldn't mind getting some iron from him, I guess. All right. Um, right. I'm probably just going to start burning instead of looting all these places. Although it might not be a bad idea to check every once in a while, just in case there's some goodies. All right. Why? There are a lot of buildings in here. Hello. Have s oh, oh, I set myself <laughs> on fire. That did not go as planned. Now I feel stupid. Oh. I like how I'm setting the house on fire before I go check it out. Yeah. Uh-oh. Probably not the best idea. A and lot of people oh. would agree with you. <laughs> and they would be smart. I'm probably going to start getting some slowdown here with all this fire. I wasn't really thinking of that. I am only working with uh, like two gigs of RAM right now, which is not ideal. I'm starting to notice, but mm. I've got eight gigs on in the mail on the way here. I'm very excited to have those. It's gonna be a nice upgrade for me. Uh, how much are you getting? Um, I'm getting just eight gigs for now. Um, the motherboard I have coming to me will be able to expand up to 16 gigabytes later if ah. I feel like it. So you'll be. Doing better than me, I guess. I'll, I'll be legit finally. I've been behind the times for quite a while now. When I when I originally built my computer, I was doing it on a pretty tight budget. Ow. And uh, I've got a little bit more money now, which is nice. Yeah, well, I was lucky because mine came from a company that pre-built gaming computers. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it was it was rather reasonable price, what, 700 What company is it? Um, It was... I have a box somewhere so in here. Like I think Alienware it's or my, something like my that. My Power PC. That sounds familiar. I think I've checked them out. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, oh, now I'm on fire. Good job. Okay, so we're looking for a building that does not have Oop. obsidian under it, correct? Ow. Uh-oh, you having uh, problems? Correct. Okay. And as of... Oh, or something like this. Aha! Blaze powder and fermented spider eye. All right, so we should be good to go then, hey? Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go back and get that lever, and then we can progress into the Ow. nasty sewers. And you should stop being on fire. Sawi. Oh, there's a lot of iron. I'm taking that because I can. Oh. <laughs> you realize you can go to the side, right? <laughs> there you go. All Yay. Right. All right, so um, actually right now might be a good time to call the episode, and then uh, next time oh, you guys see okay. us. okay, bing, bing, bing. Hello, episode. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So yeah, next time you see us, we will probably be in front of the sewers with a lever, and we'll be ready to go. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Woohoo. Woohoo.